trying to you know, create a timeline. Brunswick County Sheriff Brian Roberts talking about what so far has been a difficult case to crack. This person didn't have the resources or the connections to get up and go to California. So if they didn't have that, then why did they disappear? And how did they disappear? And you know, we'll work in every possible angle and everything's on the table. Frances Colbert, described by her son as a 51 year old homebody, has mysteriously disappeared. And the only real evidence deputies have is store surveillance video and two possible shoe prints. I have walked, I have walked every path. I walked through the woods, I have called, I have, I have asked everybody. I have did what I could. So now I'm just waiting. Waiting at this home on Railroad Street, it's the last place Colbert was seen. A possible shoe print later found a mile and a half away. A search of her cell phone takes investigators another mile and a half to the banks of a creek. From there, nothing but a dead end. Searching cell phone records and, and you know banking records and medical records and just trying to put all these puzzles together to see if we can find any history. Colbert did have a seizure the morning of her disappearance. That coupled with liking to stay close to home has investigators baffled, but not willing to give up. Never not found someone, and usually within the first 72 hours. So to go eight days and you know 23 years, sheriff for 12 years, and just poof, somebody that lives 100 yards from the sheriff's department to just disappear, I mean, it's pretty concerning.